now we are going to learn about how to enable offerings options and features for a user so what is meant by offerings and what are the fun options are available under the offerings and uh, what are the features are available under the each uh, option that all we are going to see now see for that what you have to uh, do is just go to uh, click on this user and uh, click on setup and maintenance option so after this uh, it will show you this here action uh, by option button is showing right here you have to click here go to offerings so what exactly mean by offerings offerings means uh, we can call it uh, as a product families which means if we take any kind of erp we have all type of offerings like uh, product families like uh, com uh, i mean uh, procurement sales financials uh, hcm order management and manufacturing management this all uh, uh, product families were there right so those we call it as a offerings in here in this terminology so now uh, we see uh, just we click on any offering uh, click on here uh, like procurement just click on uh, procurement offering see here if any new feature if we are not enabled then what you have to give is uh, just go to opt-in features there you have to uh, click on active then it will get after that you have to click on done button then it will get enabled if it is not enabled by default it is enabled right now for my created new user so uh, now it is going to opening uh, after that i will show you under the offering what are all the options are available and what are all the features are available i'll show you see here this is enabled which means this offering is enabled this is main one this is a one product family so under that we have suppliers items purchasing supplier invoice processing this all procurement and spend business intelligent analytics this all what we call it as options so under procurement fam if you just uh, click on this see it will get minimized so which means that under this procurement uh, offering we have lot of options are available so under that options what are all the functionalities it uh, i mean sorry features it provides that also we are going to see now so for some users we can uh, disable some features with though procurement uh, uh, opt-in feature is available for the particular user but we can disable some features okay you see here uh, for the first one user we can enable purchasing uh, option but we don't want to give option for them to receivable so then we can disable that so that way suppliers invoice processing for a few, few for a few team members we have to for few group of people we have to enable purchasing and for other group of members we have to enable supplier invoice processing so based on client business requirement we can enable the options which are required for that particular business so that way we have to give here see here under the purchasing uh, option what are the features are available that we can see just click on this edit uh, pencil symbol then it will show you what are all the features are available if you don't want to provide any fee, any particular feature then you can disable it otherwise you can uh, you have to enable all the features uh, under that particular option see here we have lot of options are available uh, sorry features are available see this we call it as a feature right so that way we can check uh, see here we have lot of enable option even history also we can see and um, after that we will see the next feature so that you will get some idea i'm just showing you this uh, example procurement so i think you got the hierarchy right so first enable offerings and then under offerings we have a options under options we have a features so these are uh, this part once
under this procurement uh, you have a purchasing supplier invoice processing these all what we call it as options so under that we can see the features as well now if you want to set up anything you just have to click on that setup button option then it will show you the setup window so how to set up also that all hierarchy you no need to remember it will show you all the hierarchy so first you have to click on the manage costing accounting profiles uh, create and assign sources uh, how to manage the sources this all you uh, whatever the uh, setup you have to do for all those you can click here uh, that setup you can do okay so now you can check another opt-in feature which is called i can i can show you the financials as well just uh, for your understanding purpose i am showing this is opt-in feature right so just go to actions go to offerings i'm just showing here now uh, if you want to enable then go to opt-in feature there you have to enable if you don't want you can disable it okay so now i'm just going to show you the related documents also it will available it will available in pdf html and excel three formats it is available so if you just wanted to create a business objects for uh, financials then just I'm just downloading excel format so that it will show you clearly uh, so what are all the setups are required so for that uh, financial uh, for, the, for creating business objects for financial um, product family okay so I think this uh, you understood well about this topic right how to enable offerings and what are all the offerings uh, are available and what are the options are available under the offerings and what are the features are available under the uh, uh, options that you have seen right I'm just clicking on that excel so that uh, you will get some idea if you just uh, I think it is not open in the format uh, it will open all the uh, I mean information you can click anything uh, maybe it is uh, having due to some issue in my system it is not opening if you download it it will open in Excel PDF or any format if you want you can download and uh, check what are the requirements uh, how to set up and all okay so these are all the offerings available currently in oracle system that is you see compensation management customer data customer loyalty and financials fusion account hub marketing manufacturing okay help desk procurement supply chain and student management anything if you want a, any kind of family you want you can click on that and you go to the opt-in feature there it will available all the options and features everything it is available okay so if you want to uh, see the history also you can click on the history then it will show you the history as well so i hope you understood well about this topic uh, thank you